Hello, this isn't going to be particularly long, at least I don't think so, I'm not putting a lot of effort into the creation of it, it's just something that I wanted to respond to um, Destin, the host from the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day. He posted a video um, called YouTube is Changing, and he was talking about how he has felt this this pressure from YouTube to make longer and longer videos and how the algorithm kind of pushed to that. And um, he also talked about how now the algorithm seems to be favoring shorts and that he doesn't want to lose his voice. He wants to keep his voice and not have these external forces pushing his voice away and changing what he's trying to share. And, um, he also is talking about how this trend towards shorter and shorter videos and he, it takes away educational content. Um, no, I understand and agree with the idea of wanting to keep your voice and keep the, the integrity of your own, um, of your own work, of your own recordings, of your own effort and what you share wanting your content to be genuine. But I think he misses something really important. And that's the evolution of language. Um, language has been evolving um, quite a bit. You can see back over the centuries, you can see things like, first you can see where spelling was standardized. That's not something that just happened naturally or immediately. That's something that evolved over time, that changed in how we do our language. Um, other more recent things are text speak. Um, kind of, in a way, changing that standardization, but creating a new standard where, hey, we're typing things shorter to say you we write the letter U to say R, we write the letter R. Um, and that's gotten shorter. Now, a lot of people complain about this. They're like, oh, why don't people just speak right? Why don't they just write right? Why don't they just use proper grammar? Here's the question. Are those people using that short, abbreviated, written speech? Can you understand them? Because if you can and they used fewer characters to do it, then isn't that an improvement? Go back to the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. One of the most famous speeches in all of American history. And it was short. Uh, unbelievably short um, for the context for the time. Presidents, they were supposed to give long speeches. The person who spoke before him gave a very long speech. As the story goes, it was hours. And then Lincoln comes up and says a speech that's just a few minutes. Which speech do you remember? Which speech carried more information? Which speech educated more? The long one or the short one? No, I don't think that TikTok and these video shorts, I don't think these are a failure in education. I actually think this is an, evolve, an evolution and an improvement in our communication and how we interact. Now, for me, I, I don't necessarily keep all my videos short um so i can understand his desire to keep his content as long or as short as he prefers i can understand that certain things certain information does need time to be explained clearly i understand that because i take time to explain it but also i feel like in a way i'm the fool there because the human mind is not is not a library, it is not a book, it is not a 
collection of perfectly framed facts. It is sensational. It picks pieces. It picks memorable spots, and it holds onto the most impactful little bits. And if we can successfully create content where we can give these little impactful bits to people, the part that the brain's going to remember anyways, if we can condense it, where as much information is conveyed in a one, two, three minute video as would be conveyed in a 30 minute, 45 minute, hour long video. If we could manage that, well, then that would actually be an improvement, an evolution in education. I will say this too. I have had this frustration in my life because I am someone who loves to research and learn things in their depth. And then when I try to tell someone something or share something, they don't want to take any time or put any effort into learning it, into understanding it. They just don't want to. But you put it on a TikTok feed or a YouTube feed, and it just says one minute. And it's just there. It's the next video in the queue. They listen to it, and they hear it, and then they they now heard something they never would have heard before. They now learn something they never would have taken 30 minutes to listen to. Do they get all the content? Do they get all the context? No. And we need those long form videos to be available for those who are going to be interested in and who are going to care about the details and understanding things in full. But most people aren't going to care about knowing the full thing. Most people are going to hear one little snippet and then have their life changed. And you can see this has been a problem for as long as I'm aware of. How many times have you heard a friend or a parent or a grandparent say one thing, oh, this crazy event happened back in the day, or hey, here's a fact about this or that. Hey, did you know that not having a coat on when you go outside makes you sick? You know that sitting too close to a TV hurts your eyes, makes your eyesight worse? We hear these, we hear them in quick little snippets, and we remember them forever. How many times have you Googled those, though? How many people have actually double-checked each of these little factoids? You don't. You just remember them. How many times do we actually take the time to go look up the real answers? We don't. Or very rarely we do. So switching to these shorts, where you can actually give the real facts, you can give the real educational content, and then have the long-form content available. So what you could do is make a short that introduces the concept, says, hey, this is the way things really are. And if the person's like, wait, what? That's how things really are? Then you can turn around and put a link there or something and say, hey, you want proof? You want to understand why or how? There's a long form video, connect to it. So I enjoy Destin's content. Um, Smarter Every Day has been a fun channel to um, have in my subscribed list of different science YouTubers. Um, I've learned from him as well as from others. And I hope he continues to do his videos and to the length that he prefers and is able to convey what he wants to. But I also do hope that he learns the skills to do short-term, short videos that um, 
short for form videos. That's what I'm trying to say. Because if he makes some short form videos of um, of little bits that inform people that teach them, well then we might actually elevate the education of of our world. One last thought before I go. This has already turned out longer than I had intended. YouTube doesn't want to move to shorts. And yet they're pushing them. But if you think about it, they get far less revenue, far less view time. They don't want that. But YouTube has seen the change of the tide. YouTube is responding to humanity. And humanity is making clear what they actually want. Um, there's a lot of psychology behind that. Maybe I'll make a long form video about how, how much humanity really relies on abbreviation and summary and compression and missing details to just get the little bits. But as it stands, TikTok beating out YouTube with its short little one minute videos, it's proof of something. It teaches us about human nature. And if we ignore what that's teaching us, then as, as education, as educators if we say nah that's too dumb that's just going to make society stupider then we're the fools because yes it will make society stupider if the educators if the people with the truth are not also publishing on that form human nature is human nature and until you address it you can't have a voice Anyways, a lot more to say, but this is already 12 and a half minutes long, so...